Hey guys, welcome back. So this is video five. So now we're gonna start exploiting Metasploitable 2, some of their services, how we can utilize this. I'm a big fan of this. I learned with this many, many years ago, and it's definitely an awesome, awesome, awesome way to learn. Even in 2023, the newest and greatest, you know, this is all if you don't have Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, those kind of uh, platforms. And we are going to do a Vuln Hub machine, but I just want to let you know you can still practice on Metasploitable. So we're going to exploit what we can find, and we'll do a little walkthrough on that now. So please like, subscribe, and share. Hit the bells and ding, 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 and, and let's get into it, right, folks, 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 folks. All right, cool deal. So let's open up our terminal. I think I do. Do I already have a terminal open? No. All right. So. What we're gonna do first, we can do the net discover again. And just in case the IP changed, right? So it didn't. So our IP address for my Metasploitable is 10.0.200.5, right? Let me bring my chair down a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and hit Control C here. And the next thing we can do is, let's copy that, and we can start scanning, right? So let's go ahead and run nmap. And then we can do, there's multiple ways, but we can do dash p dash. Meanwhile, it just means I want to scan for every single port. All right, and then we can do a dash sb. And then I can put this output results, right? So I'm going to do that. I can do on and just put ms2.txt, okay? And then my IP address of 10.0.200.5, right? So let's go ahead and run that and see what comes back. Doom, 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 doom. All right, so we'll give this a moment. So let me go ahead and uh, make another tab. Uh, let me scoot this all the way in. All right, why did that make it like that? Uh, I didn't want that. All right, let's try this again. File, new tab, that's what I did, but I don't know why it didn't open like that. All right. So just a little insight about Metasploitable. So you have MSF admin, MSF admin is the username and password, right? So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna exploit the FTP service. So what we're gonna do is create our own user list and password list and utilize this to use like, with like Hydra or something like that to attack our service, right? But and there's multiple ways to to do this, but this is just one way to practice, right? So I need to move my back, my back is hurting. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go nano and I wanna put like users.txt, right? So my user.txt is gonna be all my users. So I'm gonna put, for an example, MSF admin, and I wanna put the next one, I wanna put service. Next one, I wanna put user. And you can follow along just like I am. And then the last one is post, I think it's GRE, uh, aggress, all right? So now we can save this, right? Now we can do an LS. We have this users.txt. Now we can cat users. The same thing we're gonna do as the password. So I want, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this because I'm lazy. And I wanna do the same thing, nano. But instead of users, I wanna, I wanna put passwords. Okay, and then I'm just gonna paste that in there. Control X, yes. All right, and now I can do an LS, and now let's cat passwords.txt. And now I have a passwords list and a users list. So once we see what services are running, which I know, because you know I'm a big fan of this tool, so I know which services are running. I remember a lot of the, the hacks from when I was learning. So FTP is pretty simple just so you can get the idea. And I think I did a video on this many moons ago. All right, so let's go back to our end map and the end map has completed. And Metasploitable is meant to be vulnerable. So it's a vulnerable machine, it's to learn. So utilize it, all right? So we have FTP, which is the first service on port 21. 
So 21 is using a, a version of VS FTPD 2.3.4. This is super old, right? So what we can do is we can exploit this shortly. We're not gonna do that quite yet. So let's clear this out. And what I wanna do is try to utilize the usernames and passwords that we have against the FTP service, okay? So I wanna do Hydra. And if you don't know what Hydra is, don't worry. You can, you can just put Hydra dash H and you can see that all the options. So pretty much it's a, it's a password cracking tool and, but you need a word list and all that stuff. And you're going to see this, right? So let's go ahead and hit clear. Let's go ahead and do Hydra and we're going to do a dash L right for a list for a user. So let's do users and then dash P for password, which is going to be by passwords. And now we have to identify the IP address, which is in my case is 10.0.200.5. And then the service, which is FTP. Okay, so we're gonna let that do its thing. And okay, whoa, what just happened, right? What is this doing? So literally this went through our word list and obviously this is easy peasy, but this is just for demonstration purposes and learning. So our host is at 10.0.200.5 and it did find usernames and passwords that resided in both, both uh, uh, word lists, right? So now what we can do is try to FTP into that server, right? Because we found a username. So how do we do that? We can do FTP 10.0.200.5. And the name we can use to use like F, uh, uh, MSF admin, paste that there, paste it again, and now we're in. Now we do LS and we're, and we're in that machine, right? So that was, that's one way, but now let's do it another way, right? So let's go ahead and cancel this. Bye-bye, bye-bye, see ya. So now if we remember we have LS, let's go ahead and cat out MS2, MS2, right? So this is the result from our scan. Okay, so let's go back up. So for FTP, because we're still, this is an FTP uh, demonstration. So we have version VS FTPD 2.3.4. So what we can do is copy this and we can use a tool called Searchploit. So Searchploit is gonna go ahead and search and see if there's any vulnerabilities associated with this version. Okay, and boom, it is. So we can see here that we have a back door command execution, and then we have a command execution with Metasploit. So what we're gonna do is we can utilize these to our advantage. So now let's pop open MSF console, and this is the Metasploit framework, okay? So with the Metasploit framework, we can search this VFT, VSFTPD 2.3.4, and just to see if we have any vulnerabilities that we can use to exploit. All right, so let's give this a moment to boot up. <clears throat> it's a lot of talking. All right, perfect. So now let's just do head, start from the top, start from the bottom, now we're here. All right, so now what we can do is search, and let's just go ahead and search that uh, VSFTP 2.3.4, and we have an exploit here. Pretty much what we saw in Searchploit is right here. So we can use zero, right? So now we're gonna use this exploit and then now we can just do like show options. And then we just pretty much fill in the blanks, right? So set our host, my R host is a Metasploitable because that's a remote host, right? So let's go ahead and just do stuff in the top. So let's do set our host. 10.0.200.5, that's my case, right? And let's do show options again. And let's just see exploit and see if we get a shell. We'll give this a moment. Shell found, found shell. So pretty much if I do like an if config, we're on that machine. Who am I? I'm root. So pretty much we accomplished this vulnerability. We were able to compromise Metasploitable 2 using FTP. 
So that's that. The next one we'll do one more, we'll do SSH. So in the next video, we'll export SSH and then we'll go into downloading a vulnerable machine from VulnHub and go from there. So until next time, folks, have a beautiful day. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And I hope you're enjoying these few videos learning how to set up a pen testing lab. Thank you.